Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So 25 year old drug dealer Terence O'Connor took the drug dealing moniker to an entire new level. Now it would be more accurate to summarise this was a person that wanted to be a drug kingpin or a gun toting kerosene dicing murderer. That's me just over exaggerating but nevertheless Terence O'Connor hid a Uzi 9mm and a checkmate 32 Scorpion in a holdall behind a false wall along with 300 rounds of ammunition that could take out a few households or a few rival gang members. The police found the two firearms behind a cutout in a false wall panel in his Edgware flat in North London. Now, we all know destruction and Uzi can cause. It can fight up to 600 rounds in a minute. Now, Terence O'Connor was hit with a bit of bad luck because he could have remained undetected. But police happened to gather interest in him when he met an associate who was already on the police radar as part of an investigation into money laundering, a court was told. Now, 25-year-old Terence O'Connor was in the middle of a transaction with the associate, and when he removed items from the boot of a car in Silverstone Way, Stanmore, police happened to storm the location. And when they searched the black rock sack that was produced, police found large quantities of Class A drugs. In true drug dealer fashion, Terence O'Connor replied with a witty comment. He says, I've never seen that before. Police also found the Encro chat mobile phone synonymous with criminals and big time drug dealers. When Terence O'Connor was arrested, the police decided to raid his Edgware flat. During the search, they found empty drug parcels were strewn across the flat floor. The packaging indicated that upwards of 100 kilos had been diced, chopped and weighed and then processed in a property. That's 100 kilos of Class A drugs, most commonly known as cocaine. There was also a money counting machine that was also found, and a big wonders of cash. Again, because Terence O'Connor is a student of the Criminal Institute, he answered no comment in the police interview at a North London police station. However, he was smart, and he knew that the evidence was up against him, so he pleaded guilty at the earliest opportunity into supplying cocaine and processing Class A drugs at Harrow Crown Court. Terence O'Connor, now of Webb Street Bolton, also admitted two counts of having firearms with intent to endanger life and possessing a silencer. The most common element of being a drug dealer is the high can only remain for so long. You can live a lavish lifestyle, but you'll always get caught. You'll always end up putting yourself in a predicament where you'll be on the police radar, or potentially the police will just let you carry on being a drug dealer and wait and wait and wait until they build a big enough case on you. And then, when you feel like you're untouchable, they will come swooping in and they will just arrest you. For his crimes of stockpiling machine guns at his North London flat and possessing Class A drugs and cocaine up to 100 kilos, drug dealer Terence O'Connor was jailed for 16 years. All I can say, that's a long time to sit down in a prison cell for. Safe. So,